My name is Matthew, and I did my project on the desert biome. All right, so where is the desert? The biggest desert in the world is located in Africa, and it is called the Sahara Desert. It is three and a half million miles squared. Where is the other desert? The Arabian Desert is mainly located in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it is much smaller than the Sahara Desert, as it is only 716,400 miles squared. Okay, so the latitude and longitude for the different, uh, the different deserts. I don't know if these numbers are important, but they had to be there, so that's that. I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, okay, this is a world map of all the desert biomes uh, in the world. Uh, here we go. Was my time limit like five minutes? <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Oh my, oops. That was, that was me, that was me, that was me. Okay, so this is going to be our food web. The same exact thing that's over here, nothing should out of the ordinary on this slide. Um, just we have our producers in red, primary consumers in yellow, secondary consumers in green, and tertiary consumers um, in blue. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Okay, so for my cities, este. so for my cities, I picked Riyadh and Cairo. <laughs> um, some of the main similarities, they're both located in the desert. Uh, people live there, and I have not been to any of these places. Uh, main differences, they're on different continents. There are more species in Egypt than Saudi Arabia, and the average temperature in Saudi Arabia is higher than in Egypt. Okay, some interesting facts about the desert. Uh, there's not much water out there, so it's pretty dry. There's very little vegetation. Uh, dust storms can travel over 100 miles, which is pretty crazy. And uh, a camel can survive for a few days without water. <laughs> okay, so some, uh, some abiotic factors. Of course, we have sand, I and mean, that's what everybody walks on. Next, we have the temperature. Uh, it affects animals in the desert and how they adapt to their environment. So that's super important. Last, maybe. Last, we have these red and white hat thingies. Um, I think they're supposed to protect people from the heat, but I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, so, so live it on desert climate. Uh, it's very hot obviously uh there is excess evaporation so water doesn't water doesn't sit for a long time in the desert uh it evaporates you can see is this the laser oh yeah see we have the uh evaporation cycle right here um the highest temperature ever recorded in the sahara desert 136 degrees fahrenheit so it's pretty bad it's pretty hot okay so i have to go a little bit slow some common vegetation that you're going to see in the desert is going to be these a lot of these a lot of these wood stem shrubs and plants with very very small leaves all right so these plants have adapted these plants have adapted to minimize water loss by using deep root systems kind of like what we see in this picture so they spread their roots along the surface and it catches like it holds up all the water right and then they can like conserve over time. Okay, common animals that you're gonna see in the desert. Common animals that you're gonna see in the desert. The desert contains mammals and reptiles. Uh, most of these animals are rodents and different types of bats. Isn't that a bat? Isn't that what that? Is? Oh wait, we'll come back. We'll come back to that guy. We'll come back. I gotta hit my time limit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a bat. 
<laughs> okay, so for my animal, I probably have the best one out of everybody. I'm just saying that right now. I picked, <laughs> I picked the fat sand rat. Uh, these animals are found in Saudi Arabia, Israel, Jordan, and Syria. They dig burrows directly under the plant that they're eating. That's their habitat. Um, and they have vegetable-based diets, but they can very easily acquire type 2 diabetes by, uh, that's real, that's actually real. They can, they can acquire type 2 diabetes if they eat too much grain. Okay. All right. For the ecological concerns, poaching is a major problem in Saudi Arabia. Poaching is basically just like illegal hunting. Um, so African savanna elephants have seen a major decline in their population. It's going to be these guys right here. Um, <laughs> having a lot of trouble out there in Saudi Arabia. So uh, hopefully they get this solved. Uh, the, Nation the National Center for Wildlife... Oh, be quiet. The National Center for Wildlife has established protected areas, um, which are monitored environments that, uh, that allow animals to roam freely. So, you know, everybody's chilling and we're having a good day.